What is up, everybody? Daily Bible study. We're in the book of Zechariah. We're at chapter 5. So if you could go ahead and find where that is and uh, go ahead and put your uh, finger there and we're going to go ahead and open up in prayer. I had to redo these videos um, for many reasons. Uh, one of them that's strange enough that the ones that I preach for like a good 10 minutes after my the, 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 the Bible study that we do when I read from the word, the, the word I preach on. Some they just disappear. I save them and they just vanish. I don't know if it's because of the Windows, I think it's 8, something like that. Um, but anyways, guys, that and also YouTube, the, my system will not upload more than 15 minutes worth of stuff onto YouTube, even though on my YouTube account it allows me to upload hours worth. So there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, open with prayer. If you can't, go ahead and find where we are. Put your finger there. Press pause if you need to, and we're going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you again today, Lord. Just uh, thankful, Lord. Thankful we could spend more time in your word. That, Lord, that helps us grow. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for everything you do in my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins and everyone's sin. Thank you, Lord, just for choosing me to preach your word. Lord, with that, I um, thank you so much for your word. I thank you for the tools able to upload that word to the internet and to people's homes and to their eyes and ears. Lord, I thank you for food to eat, clothes on my back, water to drink, electricity. Lord, as I open your word, I just ask the Holy Spirit to still stay with me to guide me through your word, to give me the words to say, Lord, that you use me as your instrument, Lord, that you give me the words to say that people need to hear and I need to hear. And we pray this in your sweet and most precious holy name, King of Kings, Lord Jesus, amen, amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are chapter five, and this is titled, a, The Woman in, the Bas in a Basket. I read from the New King James Version, however, I have the New International Version, New Living Translation, and the message all right here. So if we run across something difficult to understand, we've got sources. All right. Then I turned and raised my eyes and saw there a flying scroll. And it said to me, what do you see? And he said to me, talking about an the angel, what do you see? So I answered, I see a flying scroll. It's length length and it is 20 cubits and its width is 10 cubits then he said to me this is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole earth every thief shall be expelled according to this side of the scroll and every perjurer shall be expelled according to this side of the scroll. I will send out the curse, says the Lord of hosts. It shall enter the house of the thief and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name. And that's talking about people that take the Lord's name in vain. It shall remain in the midst of its house, of his house, and consume it with its timber and stones. Then the angel who talked with me came out and said to me, lift your eyes now and see what this that goes forth. So I asked, what is it? He said, it is a basket that is going forth. He also said, this is the resemblance throughout the earth. Here is a lead disc lifted up. And this is a woman sitting inside the basket. Then he said, this is wickedness. And he trusts and he thrust her down into the basket and threw the lead, lead cover over its mouth. Then I raised my eyes and looked and there were two men coming with the wind in, in their wings. For they had wings like wings of a stork 
and they lifted up their the basket between the earth and heaven. So I said to the angel who talked with me, Where are they carrying the basket? And he said to me, To build a house for it in the land of Shinar, where it is ready. When it is ready, the basket will be set there on its base. So the wickedness is basically going to, it sounds like it's building to me, sounds like it's building a prison, basically. People, again, you know, this is why we take these journeys is to, you know, search our own hearts if the word can relate to us, which it almost always does. You may say, well, how does that relate to us? Because the most of the stuff talked about in these past chapters have been about the days that we're in. It's been about the biblical end days. And, you know, the woman in the basket, I'll have to do some studying, um, some deep studying to get a better understanding. I don't want to uh, uh, quote falsely of the scripture. But, you know, basically what it sounds like to me, it's, it's basically they're going to set the basket, the foundation of wickedness, where the wickedness will be, you know, there's wickedness everywhere. There's baskets of wicked everywhere. I mean, <laughs> we're in the days where the wicked one will rule for a short part of time. And with that, I want to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about my ministry as I have been all day. we doing my videos and editing in them. Is uh, I, I don't just do ministry. I don't just do these YouTube videos of uh, daily Bible study and sermons. I also do leadership. And right now it is a dire need for leaders to rise in the church. And we, the body of the Christ, are the church. And I've said this every single video. Knock the left and the right walls out of the temple of worship. Forget about the denomination title that you have on your church and find that common. Who do we worship in the church, people? We worship Jesus. Who is our common ground and the foundation of the church? Jesus. If we follow Jesus Christ, what does that make us? Christians. Let's keep it at that. Let's go and help our communities. Let's go and try to change the crime and the drug problem in communities. When the leaders that are really trying to help people are being thrown down, let's go try to pick them back up and help them lead and lead with them. Because people, the ones that are truly for helping people are being shut out of the offices. Well, in our communities, we can still help people. And, that, you know, we don't have to fall subject under tyrants. We can rise and be leaders and help the homeless and the drug issues and the, the crime whatever it may be by working together imagine 10 churches that came together for one task and that was to change their community they went and actively went to you know the mayor whatever it may be the police department said hey instead of you know letting this person out on the street right away after they get out you know offer them a place to go because we have food for them we have shelter for them we have clothes for them and most of all we have bibles for them we have the word of god we want to get them on the right path I mean, just those things. And you may say, well, that takes a lot of money and stuff like that's why we have the churches come together. I have a lot of ideas. If you want to hear them, if you want to come become a part of this ministry and this leadership, we need you. If you're ready to step out and be the church and lead others to Jesus Christ and help change our communities as the world is changing into darkness quickly and be the light to this darkness that Jesus gives us. Get a hold of me. All my information is on the next slide. God bless you all. We'll see you again soon.